recall that in the last video uh, we had uh, developed a formula for the approximate change in length of the member like this delta equals b times u and we said this b matrix is very important let's consider an example truss uh, like this and we number the joints 1 2 3 4 we number the members 1 2 3 4 5 6 and let's all mark all the displacements that are free to occur u2x u3x u4 u3y u4x u4y notice that one is fixed and u2y is not free so these are called the degrees of freedom these are the displacements that are free to occur now let's compute the change in length of each member in terms of all the joint displacements. We're going to develop a matrix that does this. So this matrix takes all the displacements and produces all the changes in length of the member. So basically we have to stack up the individual member B matrices we developed in the last video. Now we notice that for each column we you know, label it by the corresponding displacement because that column is going to multiply that displacement. So let's take member one, goes between joint one and joint two. The angle theta is zero. So if, you, if we compute the B matrix and put it into this larger matrix, we just get the one there. Similarly, member two, member three, number four and what I suggest is that you do a couple of these calculations by yourself to understand exactly how this works number five number six and notice here that uh, we have arbitrarily chosen member six as going from joint one to joint four. Also think about what happens if we pick instead that member six goes from four to one. We should get the same answer, but that's just something to think about so we understand it well. Now this big matrix that we built is called the B matrix for the whole structure. So this delta equals B times U gives us all the member changes in length given all the joint displacements. This is called the structure B matrix. Again, a very important concept, which is very simple for the truss, but appears in different other places.